30 days on the carnivore diet. Let's see, what are my thoughts? Let's find out. One thing I want to talk about real quick is what I'm, I guess, reactions to this, me, me doing this carnivore diet. Now, the whole stated uh, plan was 30 days on the carnivore diet. And I'm going to see how I feel. Like, uh, I've, I've had people, a lot of people saying, oh, you got to do it longer. And then there's people like, you shouldn't be doing this at all because it's probably you're just going to kill yourself or get cancer or die or something. I don't know. But uh, basically, I'm sure everybody's different and I'm going to go by how I feel. So if I decide that I don't feel good on this diet, I'm going to move on to other things that make me feel good. Because honestly, it's not about weight loss for me. It's not about anything other than feeling better. That's all it is for me. So finding the way to feel the best that I can, that way I can do physical activities and improve myself. So that's what the diet should be for, I believe, is just something that's gonna help you feel better to make get the most out of your life. So just wanna throw that out there. I just look at, it was almost like three years ago. Yeah, it's almost four now. But three years ago, Jessica and I were on a plant-based diet and it was about seven months in. I was pretty peak performance and uh, doing well. So I don't want to give this. I, I want to make sure I give carnivore a fair shake. But that being said, I'm not feeling great right now. I don't. I, don't, I haven't felt this bad. Like I remember being hungry and that on plant based, and it was really time consuming. And this is less time consuming. But right now I don't feel good. But I'm gonna try some of the supplements and things like that. I'm going to give it a little more time, but it's mostly just my heart rate is just really high. That's my initial thoughts this morning as I wake up and I'm tired and I got to get to work. Another morning, I was in kind of a mood yesterday. Didn't record much. Electrolytes do seem to bring down my heart rate some, so thinking that's part of the balance. I still haven't picked up my uh, any D, uh, B1 or any more. I got to figure out the proper magnesium to get because there's all kinds and the proper potassium. So I'm going to look into that. I got to check the comments out again, see if anybody specified and, you know, do that stuff. Tomorrow's Jessica's birthday, so we're going to be doing some stuff tomorrow. Feeling a little better today and my thoughts are a little different. So it's very hit or miss, I've noticed, like some days good, some days bad, but mostly I'm, I'm in the middle, I guess. <laughs> mostly in the middle. The, my big concern just been my heart rate. If I could get that figured out, that would be awesome. Uh, I'm starting to have more movements, but it's been a mix of wet to normal. So it's been all the way up down the scale and everywhere in between. I've been trying to balance that. I'd actually cut some butter out, but I really want to do more fat than anything. I want to fat needs to be more fat than protein so I can get fat adapted. And uh, yeah, that's the goal. And I'm trying to do some more my fasting windows and all that stuff to try to get fat adapted as soon as possible. Body's got to cycle and make new cells that are more efficient at carrying and burning the fat or doing all the, the fat work. So hopefully I get there. But uh, I've been pushing some weight around lately, sit-ups, push-ups, come to stuff like that. And uh, the cardio here and there. Reviews, talking about it all the times so over with. Uh, I'll mention it every once in a while in videos going forward. I'll, yeah, obviously I'm going to talk about it because it's going to be part of my life and my vlogs, but it's not going to be a constant theme of the videos anymore because I did my 30 days, 30 days in. But I do have a week of the lion diet coming up. I'll do videos on that starting the week of the 12th. I'm going to be getting a little dirty here in the next week. I'm adding some coffee back. I'm gonna, I'll take my reaction to that. Probably have some, I'm gonna have some cheese and pepperoni. It's not gonna be, I'm not gonna completely load up on carbs or anything. It's just mild, mild stuff. The coffee I'm probably against is gonna be like heavy cream, coffee and heavy cream. And then I think I'm gonna pick up some coffee to have throughout, like to have coffee before I go into the lion. So I'll clean all that stuff up when I hit the lion diet, hopefully, and uh, get back on track after that. We'll see what happens. I'm still not completely sold on this and just haven't felt as as amazing as everybody's sold it to be. It's probably because everybody's different. I mean, I'm still going to end. Maybe it hasn't been enough time because everybody will say that. Like a lot of people will be like, after two weeks, I felt amazing. 
But then you'll say like, well, it's been two weeks. I don't feel amazing. Well, you got to give it three months. I'm like, what? Come on. There's so many, so much conflicting, conflicting information. I'm going to get on the bike and get some riding in on the stationary. Wonder maybe I wasn't so bad off to begin with. Maybe they were really messed up to begin with and it was a big life change for them, but uh, that's been a big life change for me. Maybe I just need more time, but I, I just think like how a lot of people are just saying like two weeks in, three weeks in, first month, like how fast they've had amazing results. But like I said, if you, I guess if they were feeling really bad, I guess I could see that, but Oh, my biggest thing is I just need to be able to do some long runs, long workouts. That's what I'm looking forward to. And that was pretty much my only concern. So once my heart rate stabilizes, I get that worked out. We'll see how it goes. Once I can be able to get like a 10 mile run in, you know, see how I feel. That's what I'm excited about. That's going to be the true test. Can't wait for coffee, man. I'm so excited. Tomorrow's coffee day. If I don't crap my pants. That's the confute the worry too. Adding things back in makes you a little concerned sometimes. But uh don't want I guess so from what I was seeing uh that the longer you kinda you get the whole point of like the nine days is to really get rid of your tolerances, your tolerances for all the all the things you've been eating. Cause you're getting down to that because it basically this is in essence, this is a restrictive diet that's a elimination diet and you can eliminate everything, get down to the basics of what you need because the meat's so uh, what nutrient dense, you can eliminate everything else and then you'd stay on that so long that where your tolerance is kind of like when you're drinking alcohol, if you don't drink for a long time, your tolerance for alcohol goes down. So you want your tolerance for all the other crap to go down. Then you can start adding it back in and seeing what you're going to be hypersensitive, like more sensitive to what you try out. You do one thing at a time, see how it affects you because you're going to have that low tolerance. You'll see how it affects you. So that's the plan, but I'm going to add some things back in a little early and I'm not, not planning on doing tons of uh, like cheese and stuff, but I did eliminate like all of my vitamins, pretty much everything. Yeah. The only couple cheats that I've had that use a little bit of like hot sauce on some meat like twice and it was just like a couple drops just to add a little bit of flavor because that was when I was really struggling hitting the wall with the beef and I don't even know if those even had any carbs in them it did have a BCAA ones which has sucralose in it and that was so damn sweet made my stomach upset haven't done it again that's because we're running out of electrolytes and I want to try to stretch it out everything else has been salt and beef, eggs, chicken twice. I had bacon like the first three days. It was like just a little bit. Got rid of that pretty quick. But yeah, it's mostly been steak and ground beef and eggs for me. Water, electrolytes, whatever the keto chow. It tastes like milk, which actually is kind of nice after a while when you're just drinking water all the time. It's nice to have some different flavors, even if it is milkish, watered down milk flavor. That's kind of, that I think that's the biggest challenge is just uh, having a life previously having a lifestyle where food was your entertainment, food and drink. That's like such a form of entertainment for a lot of people, I think, especially was for me and Jessica. And it's just uh, you got to fill that void of not being entertained by food and drink. 30 days of carnivore diet completed. Can't give much of a breakdown for for me. This is, results may vary. I'm not a I'm not an expert on any of this. I'm just gonna get by what I tell you what I ate and what I experienced and the results that I had. I did lose some weight, about 15 plus pounds of weight. Not my goal, but needed. Definitely was needed. Uh, I had a beer gut. It's mostly beer gut stuff. So, which usually I can I kind of gain and lose it all the time. 
back and forth, but inflammation did go down a bit. Uh, not 100%, but I've, I have feel, felt some effects. When I do my workouts, the muscles are less sore. Did notice that my uh, conditioning though with the heart rate, I just couldn't couldn't roll out uh, lo any long runs or anything. But I did do some, tried to do some of those high intensity workouts on the treadmill, like the ramp up speed. Didn't hold up very well. Heart rate zones higher than they've ever been before. So we'll see what happens with the changes in my body. Hopefully that gets better adapted and gets more efficient and I can keep my heart rate down. That's the, my only concern. Uh, and I'm gonna try to add B1 this coming month, some supplements with uh, what some kind of magnesium and potassium. And uh, I hope you can get plenty of sodium from salt. I use a lot of salt. So that Redmond salt's just good. And there's that smoked salt, it's just delicious. So no issue there, getting the salt. There's so, so much information, so much conflicting information. So many people telling me I'm crazy that for even trying this diet, that uh, this is like death sentence. And you know what, it's already like kind of scary enough as it is because it's like, this goes against everything you've, you've been ever taught growing up if you're my age. It's always about like the cholesterol, saturated fat. That was like, I remember like, man, even being like 20 something in my twenties and that was like the, Always the topic was number one killer in America was saturated fat. And now I'm just like loading my body up full, <laughs> like bring it on. But I guess what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's all I'm going to ramble all on about right now. And I'm going to get this right over and get ready for the day. Okay, so that's going to wrap this up. This 30 day carnivore diet. I'm going to continue with the carnivore diet like the 12th of February. I'm going to start the lion diet. So keep your eyes out for those videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and hope you continue to follow along through whatever shenanigans I get into with my vlogs. See you guys later. Did I just do that cheesy thing where people cover up their lens? No. So to everybody that's joined me through this period of time, I appreciate it. Hope you continue to follow along. 30 days. I'm gonna be having, getting a little dirty. I must have some serious whiplash or something in my neck because it's so stiff.